So last week was GDC and Faraz said a lot of reminder for us to watch all the live streams but we were so busy and we didn't watch any of them. So today we decided to watch the State of Unreal by Epic Games. Let's see what they have announced. I've seen bits and pieces online but I think there is a lot more to see. We're gonna watch it together now. We're starting State of Unreal. Let's see all the updates that are coming out. Hey everyone, it's great to be back at GDC. And brought the Fortnite audience up to 500 million player accounts. 500 million? Epic entered into a massive settlement with the FTC. Do you know what was the, this FTC? No. Do you know? No, I don't know. 245 million alleges the company violated the law by collecting personal information from kids under 13 without parental oh. consent and by enabling voice and text chat by default. An unfair practice that put kids and teens in risky contact with strangers. strangers. Yeah, they fucked up. Let's say if I had kids and they're like 12 years old. If they have my fucking credit card and they just like fucking stand by. And they will see a bill of thousand yeah. dollars at the end of the month. Yeah. And it's good sometimes for the developers to get fucked over so they're more careful with these things. Yeah. But no, yeah. parental yeah. controls, if the kids have access to this page, the store they just turn it off. Features, this is it's setting in the game, right? The Epic Games Store is amazing, actually. I like it more than Steam now. And because I use Unreal Engine. They paid a billion dollars to the developers. So if Bad Decision Studio makes a game and then we charge, we take a percentage. Yeah, you take 88%. Okay. That's huge. Steam sucks. Steam's revenue split is very low. Valve starts are taking a 30%. So that's a lot. They, they take only 12, like half. That's that's more crazy. Than, uh, if we create a VR app, do we need to launch it on Unreal Engine Marketplace or? Mm -hmm. You can, and also Steam everywhere because the it's like saying, do I want to launch in Android oh, or okay, iOS? Yeah. If you do both, you have more exposure. So you want to launch it everywhere, or you can go exclusive here and have everyone pay you here. That way, you get more of the revenue, but you might get less actual users. Unreal Engine 5.2. Hey. Woo! Unreal Engine 5.2. I have and uses Unreal to power their instrument cluster. What? They use, no, fuck Tesla, they use Unreal to power their instrument cluster. I don't know what is an instrument cluster, <laughs> but they use Unreal Engine, so we like them. 3D visualization of the vehicle, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, Dude, Unreal is being used everywhere, man. Imagine we get so big, we just go right now and buy one of these to test and out the Unreal Engine. Engine. Not the car, just the Unreal Engine. Ah! We're building tools for interactive and dynamic worlds. So here we have chaos physics simulating rocks that tumble as we drive over them, leaves bend out of the way, and we also added some real-time fluid simulation. Wow, wow, real time. We worked with the team at Rivian to set up Unreal's chaos vehicle model to simulate the suspension of the truck and how the electric motors drive each individual wheel. Chaos also simulates how the tires compress and deform, and MetaSounds enabled the team to precisely resynthesize the sounds of the electric motors and mix them with the ambisonics of the jungle. Dude, this Are you fucking kidding, kidding me? This is so realistic. What the fuck? fuck? All these games, like when you play Need for Speed and all these previously, right? Not not recently. The lighting was big. Everything was big. The the tires were not physically accurate. The way they were moving. Everything we play from now on, eventually, made with NVIDIA Omniverse and made with Unreal Engine, are going to be physically accurate. So, they're not actually going to fake the rotation and everything. It's just based on the amount you're pushing onto the controller or whatever. It's going to, it's exactly like as if you were driving a car. If you press your foot on the gas, it's going to, you know, physically use that to create force Emotion, yeah. and go forward. And it's gonna be the same when you play games. That's how fucking cool this is gonna be. So eventually what's gonna happen in the metaverse, everything is gonna be physically accurate. So when you actually drive the Tesla in a metaverse, it's going to be exactly the same feeling of driving a Tesla in the real world. But even better because then you can have magical and fictional shit in it. This is crazy. So now you know why the metaverse is actually going to be built with Unreal Engine and all this. Not, yeah. not, not, and not. NVIDIA Omniverse, this too. Keep an eye on these two technologies. We're introducing Substrate. Substrate? What the fuck is the that? What the fuck is Substrate? You can't order a Rivian with Opal body panels, but Opal was the internal code name for this project and also a really great demonstration of Substrate's capabilities. The base layer models the iridescence, refraction, and reflections that occur inside of an opal. And on top of that is a layer representing the polished surface and how light is absorbed as it travels through that clear layer of varying depths. And now we can add back on the dust and dirt layers. What? 
And notice how the reflection changes when interacting with the dust layer, and that there are no artifacts along the transition from dirt to dust to opal. Everything since that fallen tree has been built using our brand new procedural suite of procedural content generation tools. So let's say a designer comes by, wants to direct the player to drive to the left. Jacob can simply move the assembly to the right, and everything updates to accommodate that change. Holy shit. I mean, so rebuild. This yeah. means now the competition between game makers is about the story of the game, the narrative. Yes, you're absolutely right. More creators, more chance to create faster game development. Less, less than around time, right? Like, less than around time, but the games that stand out, out of 100 games, the one that hand draws the game, or they have their own assets made and then they start doing this with. But if you start all using the same assets, so right now for us, if you go to Quixel, everybody has access to that. So why can't someone else come and make a better game than us? So yes, half of it is true, what you said. It comes down to storytelling, characters, motion capture, stuff like that. But generally speaking, this is a conversation we had about AI as well. AI is going to give accessibility to everyone to be smarter, to be quicker, but then the person that stands out is the one who can use that tool yeah, and still be yeah. creative to make newer, you know, sort of findings. So it really depends. But this is good news. This For sure, good it's good news. So, so the truth is you partied a bit last night and that's why Faraz is scratching his eyes. We are a bit tired, I would say, but we are still driven. To watch still at it. And to date, more than 550 television and film projects have been made wow. with Unreal Engine in production. 550 film and TV projects using Unreal Engine. I want us to be fucking part of it. Love the robots. Yeah. Love the robots. 1899. Love the robots. 1899. Mandalorian. Crispy enthusiasm. The Snoop Dogg video. Holy now these are some of the leading studios using UE5 today. Where is Studio, man? Where the fuck is that Studio? I'm horny as fuck. Fuck right now, and I'm not talking about girls or sex. I'm talking about Unreal Engine 5.2. I want to get creative. I want to start creating. I'm seeing all the new features. I want to create. <coughs> this is the character or the real character. This is not real. Holy shit! I know, right? Yeah. What, what? <laughs> see through your darkness now. I see through your lies. I will show them how to see as I do. I will not appease your gods. I will destroy them. <laughs> I love it. Fuck. We'll be merging our content offerings into a new unified creator marketplace so called Fab. So no more sketch Fab art station like all in one. I don't know. Apparently, Fab will be an open marketplace serving the entire digital content creation industry. That means we're going to offer assets for all game engines, all digital content creation tools. This is great fucking news. That means imagine you're a YouTuber, you make oh, money on content. content. Here, if I'm a 3D artist and I don't want to go work for anybody, I just start creating what no people person. need. So I'll start looking, okay, people have medieval games, people have um, horror games, people have games that are sci-fi. So I start making like the dopest sci-fi assets, make a cool trailer for them, boom, put it out. And now that it's all in fab, a lot of people can find it. Then if you make content on the side about it, and you get you make money, make you get 88 so much money. Building on the success of Quixel Bridge, the Fab plugin will enable you to search, discover, drag and drop content wow. right into your scene without Honestly, being a game editor. I think I don't need you anymore. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. I don't need you on Pratt anymore. I am on my own. Drag and drop 3D asset into my world and create the experience that I love. This is the change that brings Metaverse closer to reality. At the center of this all is Unveil Editor for Fortnite. It's a new PC application that brings the power of Unveil Engine to the scale of the Fortnite audience. Islands built using creative tools already account for roughly 40% of playtime in Fortnite. That's billions of hours a year. And we expect that number to keep growing yeah, because we have that. half of the playtime. So that means half of the playtime is being done on the things that Epic developed for Fortnite. The other half based on the, the creations of the players themselves. One of the reasons why Epic Games is constantly just going up like that is they're smart. They see something, either they buy it or they improve or they adapt. 
He saw Quixel partner. Let's make more. Sketchpad is the one that looked the cleanest compared to Turbo Squid and all that. No, no, no offense. It's the cleanest one. The other ones are they have shitty content. Sketchfab only dope 3D stuff stuff. Done. Partner up, partner up, partner up. And then now they saw Roblox is the only game that has all the kids interested because kids are making their own games. Pratt loved Roblox because he can make his own games. Now you can make your own Let's make your own game. Why not? Instead of us, oh no, Fortnite's great, let's just keep it like, no, open it up. And now, open it up for developers to develop in it. Like, now we can create a map, right? We can create you, the We map. can use Unreal Engine. Now, the creative one, I believe you can only use stylized stuff, like Fortnite's own assets. Okay. Now, now like I can fucking photo scan myself and bring myself into the game. And all the lighting in the cave was made possible thanks to Lumen, our real-time global illumination system. And you can import skeletal meshes and then animate using sequencer and control rig. Everything you've just seen is available today in the public beta version of Unreal Editor for Fortnite. Uh, yeah. This doesn't look like Fortnite. We can create a world. We can create trailer out of it. We can play it because now we can create the world. We can play it ourselves. We can create content out of it, and people want to play it. How is this Fortnite? We will distribute forty percent of Fortnite's global net revenue to eligible creators who publish games in Fortnite, both independent developers and Epic. We're Thank so you very much for your time. Calm. There's so many updates. Which one was your favorite? Fortnite. I'm, I'm, I'm a legend for Fortnite. I want to play and I want to build. Yeah, and I want to create content out of it. Let us know what was your favorite sort of update. So there was the, I would say it was the material, procedural foliage, it was the meta human, human facial animator, Unreal Engine for Fortnite, and it was Fab, the, the stores. Oh. All of these updates. Let's see. Yes. I'm going to put the link of the video in the description as well. So yes.